my home, you know, just, just, just spending each day as I can. I have a really great, I have all these great stories to share and tell with all my friends. Uh, that's, that's all my friends and all my new friends like you. All kinds of people, all kinds of people from all over the world, moms, kids, everyone. We can always learn something from every day and every story we hear. Story time with friends, story time. Oh yeah, it's my favorite, uh, favorite, favorite, favorite. Hey, can you wave hello to everybody? Uh, yeah, of course, of course. Soon, enjoy the show. Stacey Portmore Davies, and today you'll be listening to The Gingerbread King by Claude Solnick. The Gingerbread King. Little Harry Willits one day came home from his school carrying a gingerbread house made with candy bright as jewels. Gummy bears adorned the roof. The fence was made of licorice. The chimney was made of Tootsie Rolls topped with a chocolate kiss. The house had chocolate windows and it had chocolate doors. It had green sparkles for grass and gingerbread walls and doors. A marshmallow man stood very strong and very tall to be seen by any passerby clear to one and clear to all. It was a gingerbread house and a palace as well. The perfect place for a gingerbread king to dwell. And Harry put the palace where everyone could see it. The only problem was who saw it wanted to eat it. We'll leave it, Harry's father said, for at least an entire day, and like a rainbow, it will brighten the sky that's gray. And we'll show it tomorrow when Grandpa and Grandma arrive, Harry's mother said. It'll be a nice reward at the end of their long drive. And so Harry agreed and dreamed of candy that night in bed and promised that night he'd never touch the palace made of gingerbread. But the next morning, very much to everyone's surprise, a gingerbread palace missing many pieces greeted everybody's eyes. Who did this? Who ate the doors to our giant gingerbread house? Harry's father asked so loud. Was it a thief or a bird or a mouse? There was no answer said. Not a single word was heard until Harry's mother said, it was the gingerbread bird. That's it, that's what it had to be, little Harry said. The gingerbread bird at night eats the gingerbread candy. And then all looked and saw the missing windows and chimney. All right, Harry said at last. The gingerbread bird is me. Tell us then what happened. Go ahead, Harry, right now, Harry's father said. Well, we'd all really like to know. I went to bed and said I wouldn't eat the palace at night. And then I dreamed of a gingerbread castle so big and so bright. I walked up to it and in my dreams, I rang a candy coated bell and a gingerbread man, friend gingerbread man let me into a gingerbread hotel. I had a cotton candy room with a fantastic candy fireplace and chocolate sheets with the best whipped cream lace. And in my dream, I ate all the candy in my mind. And in the morning, what did I wake to find? You'd eaten the gingerbread palace in your sleep? Harry's mother asked him so filled with pure disbelief. No, said Harry, no. I found the real gingerbread house, but I was so hungry from the things I dreamed about. I took a nibble and then I ate a little more and some more. And before you know it, I had eaten the chimney and the door. That's all right, Harry, honey. It's still a beautiful creation, Harry's mother said. There's still a reason for celebration. They did gingerbread repairs and when they were through, they fixed each broken piece so the candy casters were good as new. And that evening when Harry's grandparents at last arrived, they looked at and loved the palace so bright and alive. And Harry even told them the story of the gingerbread hotel, a gingerbread castle with candy bricks 
and a bright candy coated bell. And they all learn to enjoy the beauty of what is there and not regret the imperfections that we all find everywhere. And they took pictures, of course. And then best of all, at last, they devoured the gingerbread palace until it vanished into the past. Harry may not have a beak, and certainly he doesn't have wings, but they call him the gingerbread bird and the gingerbread king. And to this day, Harry has some pictures and sometimes a dream about a gingerbread palace as big as any the world has ever seen. Story time. Oh yeah, it's my favorite. Uh, favorite, favorite, favorite. 